Coming up next on Raiders Allegiance, State of the Shield. Stay tuned after the intro. When you have great coaches, then after you have great coaches, you get great players. You have a great organization, and you tell them one thing. Just win, baby. This is Raiders Allegiance with Lunatic Raider. Welcome to the dark side. What is the deal, Raider Nation? Welcome to another episode of Raiders Allegiance with yours truly, Lunatic Raider. Man, we got a lot of stuff going, going down that we need to sort through. Um, Raiders have been doing their due diligence, bringing in a whole new coaching staff to coach our Las Vegas Raiders. It started off with bringing in Ziegler and bringing in McDaniels as our GM and head coach. Then we go and sign assistant general manager, Champ Kelly. Then we go in and get Patrick Graham, formerly of the New York Giants, as our new DC. Um, it's, it's just a whole bunch to dig in, y'all guys. So let's go ahead and get in and start discussing what we got going on with these Raiders. How this coaching staff is starting to shape up. Um, man, let's see what happens now, man. We're going in a new direction. I understand that um, the focus is on bringing in these new guys and having us reset our direction and also our scale as far as scaling up above where we're at right now. Even though we made the playoffs, that's not our goal. Our goal is to get the Super Bowl. So we have to bring in a team in the front office and the coaching staff that can come in and lead us in that right direction. And I know a lot of us do not like them damn Patriots, but you must give credit where credit is due. For those guys over in New England to break off six Super Bowls, that's all I want. If McDaniels and Ziegler can come over here and give us six Super Bowls, I'm all for it. It ain't where you from, it's where you at. And where they at, is with the Raiders. So let's go ahead and make this thing happen. Let's get behind them. Let's get this momentum going. Let's get the, get the right coordinators, the right coaches in there to coach our team up, to get our players to play at a high level, to be able to compete for a championship. I don't see Kansas City as being the boogeyman like people want to paint them to be. They can be beat. They can be beat. Anybody can be beat. You know what I mean? It's not a given. So we're still in the mix. We, I think we'll be better than we were this past season, hands down. I think giving the key players on this team the taste of the playoffs is going to make them that much more hungry to go out there and achieve more. Max Crosby, hats off to Max Crosby for getting defensive MVP of the Pro Bowl yesterday. Man, the boy showed out. He had two sacks. He had um, five tackles and I think three knockdown passes. The boy went off. So as you see today, what I got on, this is the 2009 Namdi Asamoah awesome Pro Bowl jersey. So I'm giving a shout out to my Raiders and the Pro Bowl representatives from Perryman to Cole, you know what I mean, to Max Crosby, man, Renfro, can't forget about, can't forget about Hunter Renfro, caught a touchdown in the game also, as well as the AFC beat the NFC, but you know what I mean, it's just a glorified all-star game, and it's good to see our representation out there on the field with four in the Pro Bowl, and they did their damn thing, you know what I mean, so salute to Max Crosby, man, let's, let's do this shit again next year, okay, now I'm back into the to the subject at hand, as you already know, we already have our coach, we have our GM, assistant GM, D, uh, DC. They also, the Raiders have known that we have um, retained Edgar Bennett as our wide receivers coach, which makes perfect sense because the development of Renfro, and then also, don't forget, not this, not just this year, but last year. You bringing in Zay Jones, you know, this year to come in and and take over as one of the receivers. Um, last year it was um, oh, I'm drawing a blank. We grabbed him from Philly. Now he's with New England. But it seems like Edgar Bennett is a hell of a hell of a wide receiver coach. He's he's solid. Coming over from Green Bay, he's solid. He was offensive coordinator with Green Bay. Matter of fact. Edgar Bennett was uh 
just missed who was it that he was um close to it was a uh, hmm yeah he was he was offensive coordinator with green bay and he did that from um what was he 2015 2017 but then you also had patrick graham who just missed working with bennett because when bennett left then graham came graham came over um but not only as the defensive uh i think a defensive line coach he was with um with green bay for a minute let me see let me get my facts right you guys because i don't want to give y'all misinformation but um yeah patrick graham his his expertise what i broke down the defensive line and linebackers is his that's his bread and butter. That's what he's good at at coaching. But defensive coordinator, he the the man has the mindset to go ahead and create um complications for offenses. So I'm glad he's on our team. A lot of New York Giants fan base, they are mad that he came to us because they wanted to keep him, um, which is understandable because this dude is outstanding. Um, but uh yeah, he was linebackers coach and run game coordinator with Green Bay in uh, 2018. And Edgar Bennett left Green Bay in 2017. So they just missed each other going, you know, being in the same spot in Green Bay with the Packers. But I mean, it, it, it all is all fitting the place for us. That's all I care about. I don't care about these other damn teams. You know what I mean? Josh McDaniels, of course, you know, coming over, he had a stint with, um, the Broncos, which didn't work out, and let's 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 fix this rumor. They said Spygate was the reason why Denver went six and zero and then lost a lot of their last games. That's incorrect. Two thousand nine is when the Denver Broncos came out six and zero and then f fell off towards the end. It was two thousand ten that they were blamed or matter of fact accused of spygate against the 49ers a whole year later so the former player from denver who said spygate would cause them when they got caught it caused them to spiral down that's a damn lie them was two different years that that shit happened in denver came out six and oh 2009 and, and fell off towards the end and spygate did not happen until 2010 again in that 49ers game so Y'all go ahead with all that damn rumors and shit. It's always some outside chit chit chat. Always trying to throw salt on the Raiders' name and oh, look at dumbass hire. He did this with man. Nobody care about that. But also, don't forget that Josh McDaniels also was with the was it the Colts as offensive coordinator for one year. Um, yeah, I think that's that's what it was with him. Um, so right now as it stands, we have those guys as our or uh, coaches in, in, in with with GM being Ziegler, assistant GM being Champ Kelly, um, head coach is Josh McDaniels so far. QB coach is uh, Bo Hardegree, wide receivers coach Edgar Bennett, defensive coordinator Patrick Graham, linebacker coach is Chris Ash, and, and so far today, knowing, finding out that special teams coordinator is going to be Tom McMahon, talk, ugh, tongue twister. Tom McMahon is the new special teams coordinator with the Raiders, replacing Biashia, who is said to be signing with Green Bay in the same capacity as special teams coach. So, off goes Biashia, Tom McMahon comes in to replace him. Um, we still have a, a, a few openings. Of, of coaching staff that we still need to fill um as far as we need an oc is still vacant running back coach tight end coach d line coach and linebacker coach are all open but here's the key when you have linebacker and d line coach available but what i said previous with patrick graham his bread and butter is d-line and linebacker and he's the dc so i think he's going to oversee whatever linebacker coach and d-line coach comes in and gets hired with us patrick graham is going to be overseer of all that just like Do josh mcdaniels is going to be the overseer of the or, or the offensive coordinator position they're going to bring somebody in probably somebody he can groom or somebody that's looking to move up 
in the next position on the offense makes sense maybe somebody he worked with or somebody that he heard their name ringing about the next up and coming um to be groomed for oc running back and tight end coach we don't know yet we'll see hopefully in the next days to come they go they go ahead and get this um coaching staff field because march 16th marks the new calendar year of the nfl and free agency is open so i'm looking forward to march 16th jumping off so that basically five more weeks five more weeks we in, in um free agency and it's, it's gonna be good to see with these names that we have implemented in our organization now who they can draw to us and not just who they can draw to us who are they focused on bringing to us anyway to fit what we're trying to do? So usually how this thing goes, I can see some free agents from the Patriots on the offensive side of the ball, maybe some on the defense, but I see some New York free agency. So start looking at the New York Giants free agents on the defensive side of the ball that Patrick Graham could possibly bring over to the Raiders since he's the new D.C., so there's, there's all kind of working components in this, but man, it's, it's going to be fun to see how we um unload and do all this. Well, I don't, I don't want to run y'all alone. That's basically to keep you up to date with the coaching staff and so forth. But before I let y'all tiptoe up out of here, just do me one solid. All I ask is for you to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and knock the hell out of that notification bell so you can be notified of all the content that I release. This is Lunatic Raider. You've been watching Raiders Allegiance. Man, thank you guys. And also, shout out to all the new subscribers to the channel. Man, I thank y'all. Salute. It's all love, baby. Silver and black. One nation. You already know. It's only one. I'm Lunatic Raider, and I'm out. <laughs>